Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are trying to, and I'm saying trying to because this is actually really really hard, I'm trying to rank outliner applications and uh, taking outline notes or doing taking notes using the outliner method can actually be done in every single application. It doesn't necessarily have to be in one of these, but What's great about these applications is that they are built for that type of note taking and we will just jump into it with the first one. So we are starting off with DimeList at 7th place and that is simply because the application isn't maintained at all. If you're familiar with the application Obsidian, this is made from the same people who developed Obsidian. And even though I think it is a really good application, I like the folder structure inside of here, I like the markdown based editing, I like the tags as well. I actually like most of the things inside of this application. And I also do love the simplicity of this, but it just simply isn't maintained and having an application that isn't maintained and updated just doesn't feel right to me and placing it higher just doesn't feel right to me. So if it was only around like design and the way the application worked and uh, just how good it was to use, I would probably put this a little bit higher, but with the rise of AI and new features coming almost every single day, I feel like this uh, actually uh, has to be put uh, a little lower, even though it is a great application uh, to use uh, now as well, if you're looking for a simple outliner application. In sixth place, we have an application called Toscade, and Toscade is a great application. It is also really good at utilizing AI with these AI agents that you can talk to, you can discuss with, uh, which is a use case for AI that I absolutely love. You can also create these uh, uh, projects and project uh, outlines using AI. It has an every view you could probably dream of. So if I jump back into my building a second brain template, it has a bunch of different views here. You can see the board view. Uh, it has a calendar view, it has a table view, you can even get mind maps and org charts, but it is basically an outliner application. You take bullet point notes uh, and you use them to get everything else from a mind map to an org, uh, org uh, chart to tables to calendars to boards and lists. And uh, with the utilization of AI, I think that this is a great application. There are two reasons why I've placed it in second to last. Uh, and that is one, because it has a huge learning curve. This has been one of the applications I personally have struggled to learn, even though I review note-taking and productivity applications. The second uh, point is that this feels uh, more like a project management application than it does a note-taking application. And even though I uh, like project management applications as all-in-one solutions, I feel like they aren't necessarily the best like outliner applications uh, but I do love the idea of an outliner application as a project management uh, tool that is something that is unique to uh, Toscade and I do love the fact that they offer actually a unique uh, use case and has, uh, hasn't just copied every other uh, note-taking application out there or productivity application out there. But if you're looking for an outliner application that can give you a bunch of different views and really feels like a project management tool, this is probably your best bet. And pricing-wise, this will set you back $8 each month if built annually or $10 if built monthly. With that, you get unlimited limited AI usage, which probably is the main point, but they have a really good free plan as well if you just want to stick with that. But you also get unlimited file uploads, advanced AI automations, Gantt charts, and custom fields. 
and you get integrations with Google Calendar, uh, Google Drive, Gmail, Typeform, Slack, and more. So as you can see, this feels much more like a team uh, application and a project management application. In fifth place, we have an application called Check west which isn't an application i have used a lot but it is more like a list maker uh, that works as an outline uh, outline application or outline note taker uh, as you can see you have uh, everything you would need from like bullet points uh, and endless hi uh, hierarchies which is things i do know a lot of people do like this hasn't been an application i've looked too deep into but i have played around with it and i do love the fact that it has like uh it has an easy way for you to start with the application uh, so just taking simple notes but it also has like more advanced features without being so advanced that people uh, can't seem to uh, understand how it works so it has things like tag lists and uh, tag lists and you can group them as well so this is organization you have bulk operations you can attach files and you can just create your own list if you wanted to do that and you can easily just give this list a name so name uh, and it can be used as an outliner application in uh, that way you also have the ability to upgrade this uh, which will set you back 3.9 dollars each uh, person each month which is a quarterly payment uh, or 39 uh, per person per year which is a yearly payment this is actually quite cheap with that, you get backup, Dropbox integration, password protected sharing. Uh, you get bookmarks, repeating due date, calendar integration, Slack integration, notifications, multi selection, uh, and uh, some advanced list making here. They also have a free trial. So I both like the uh, pricing of this and I also do like the fact that it is really simple to use but it has the advanced features here as well like backlinks uh, here and a bunch other. Uh, so uh, I do love an application that is simple to start with and that can grow with you. That's why I'm putting it in fifth place. So fourth place I I'm guessing that a lot of people would uh, disagree with me on this one, but this is an application I uh, like a lot. And if I were to pick an outliner application, I would probably go for this. I personally don't use outliners, but this application is called Tana. And what's the main selling point uh, about Tana? Well, there are two, actually. The first one is the fact that you can capture things quite easily so if i just write test here uh, and as you might have understood it is uh infinite nesting here as well so you can nest a bullet point underneath another bullet point but let's say i wanted to see my data in a more structured way i could add the to do tag here uh, and if I change the filters of this, or actually if I just create another one. So if I do backslash and I do search node, uh, and I can search for the to-do node, you can see all of my tasks, including the test one right here. And I can add filters to this uh, to be able to remove uh, or add things and see my databases exactly the way I want, which is great, uh, but, as you might have figured out by watching me doing it, it actually takes some time to, it actually takes some time to do it and it takes some time to learn how you actually do it, which is one of the biggest problems of Tama. They also have a lot of AI capabilities, just like I talked about with Taskade. You have things like AI chat, so you can talk with your notes, which is a feature I do really like you have uh, integrations with your calendar uh, and you have a few other things as well you have these meeting agents as well but uh, it is $14 a month built yearly which is really really expensive uh, 
I think that this is probably one of the more expensive choices you can go for. And they have also had like some minor issues with communication, uh, which they have fixed now. So uh, I think that the community is a lot more happy with the application now and the way it uh talks to its community and gives out information but that has been a problem it is also uh in closed uh, beta which means that i can't put it any higher uh given the fact that it hasn't stood the test of time and it is still too hard to learn i think that if they are able to like make a great onboarding and make the app easier to learn i think that this is one of the most exciting ones on the list but as of right now i am giving it the fourth place third place we have another application i haven't uh, used a lot but i have played around with this is roam research and another one of these expensive applications so this will set you back 15 dollars each month if built yearly or 13.75 sorry uh, 13.75 if built yearly each month or 15 dollars if built monthly so that is 15 per month if monthly or 13 dollars uh, each month 13.75 if built yearly which is uh expensive uh, <laughs> i just talked about the fact that i feel like uh, tana is expensive but it is only a little more expensive than um Rome Research and Rome doesn't offer uh, the same um, AI capabilities which Tana offers, but it was one of the first applications that allowed you to do this graph thing right here. And I know that a lot of people love the application for uh, that uh, and for the fact that you have these unlinked references and it has a huge community, but I feel like it is... Uh, getting older compared to what a lot of the newer applications offer but i have still decided to put it in third place because i think it is a solid application that has stood the test of time i would like to see it uh, offer some of the newer like features that a lot of the other note-taking applications do have that is simply because i don't want this to end up like another Evernote and uh, ending up being like uh, too old and hard to use and not as good as some of the newer applications. Uh, so that is the only thing I think that Rome should focus a little bit on. But it is a stable application. It works great. It gives you the ability to nest um, uh, nest bullet points underneath bullet points and probably the best part is the graph view which I know that a lot of people do like this was actually the application that started the whole backlinking graph view trend that we have seen for the last couple of years so it has been around for a while and I think that it is a little important because it shows that the application is here to stay uh for a long long time and hopefully they will continue to develop and i feel like even with the high pricing this deserves a top three spot second place we have an application that is free this has a huge learning curve uh, just like tama but uh, it can be used for free you can pay for syncing but um uh, you can also sync using third-party application. I've used iCloud Drive a lot to sync these markdown files across my different uh, devices and it has worked great. But here we have things like whiteboards, flashcards, but we also have uh, just a simple way for us to take notes uh, and we can keep on nesting these notes underneath each other so nested note and i could go on like this uh, almost forever uh, which i think is really really cool but uh, the best part about this application is the plugin ecosystem which allows you to make this application into everything you want so if you're familiar with the obsidian plugin ecosystem it has the same 
And the reason for why I feel like this deserves the second place is that it is free, so you don't have to uh, pay all of your money to get this uh, application like you have to do with things like Roam and Tana. It feels like you're paying a lot for those applications, while this one is free. You have the graph view here as well, uh, and uh, it is also highly privacy uh, focused. You own your own files, which I feel like is really important to a lot of people. And um, the reason for why it isn't the best application on this list is simply because it has too much of a learning curve to it. Uh, and using the plugins can be really hard. It can be like a plug and play uh, application as well. Just download it and start taking notes, but you lose a lot of uh, the feature set if you do that. So that is why it is getting uh, the second place on this list. So first place actually goes to Workflowy, which I think is an amazing application. Uh, it's been around for a while, this one as well. But one of the things I do love about this is actually the mirror things. So uh, imagine a bullet point actually needing to live in multiple different uh, places. So it is both a to do, but it is also something that lives underneath uh, the this right here i can actually have it live in both places uh, which i think is something more applications should add i also do love the kanban boards that you can turn uh, like bullet points into kanban boards i think they've done a lot of things right but there are two reasons for why i feel like this deserves the um, first place the first one is the fact that it is simple to use compared to a lot of the other applications on the list. Uh, it is not really, really simple. I don't think that any of these niche note-taking apps are simple, but it is simpler than a lot of the other applications. And it is an application that can grow with you. You don't lose a lot if you just take bullet point notes inside of this. Uh, but as you go and as you want to have a, a more complex note-taking system, this allows for that as well, uh, which is something I do like. It can grow with you. That's the first thing. And I don't think the pricing on this is bad either. So you uh, have a free forever plan, which limits you to uh, monthly bullets. I think it's 100 monthly bullets. Uh, but for $8.99 if built monthly uh, or $6.99 if built yearly, I think this price has recently changed. If I'm not mistaken, it used to be a little cheaper, but I still feel like uh, it is an okay pricing compared to the rest of the market. Uh, and I just like the versatility of this without it being like really, really hard to learn. That's uh, why I have decided to place it uh, in first. A lot of these applications do exactly the same thing, but I feel like um, this application right here actually uh, does it not necessarily better, but makes it easier for us to use and learn. Uh, and I would say that this can both be used uh, by people who has have no experience with, with tools for thought or these complex note-taking apps, but it can also be used for people um, like myself who have a more complicated take on note-taking. So that's my list. If uh, you have any questions or anything you want to discuss, please do comment down below. And as usual, these are just my personal thought, thoughts and note-taking is highly personal. So you will just have to pick and stick with the applications that you like the most. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. And if you haven't done so already and you're interested in tech and uh, productivity, uh, please do subscribe and I hope to see you again quite soon.